The best LED headlights for your Ram truck just got better. Here are the Morimoto XB Gen 2 LED projector headlights for your 2009 to 2018 Ram truck. The 09 to 18 Ram truck comes with three different headlights depending on the year and the trim. You've got the most popular projector headlight model, you've got the quad headlight that uses two halogen bulbs, and then you've got more of the work truck or contractor model that uses one halogen bulb in a big reflector. No matter what you have, the Morimoto XB LED headlight fits all of them, and this is the better, brighter Gen 2 version of everybody's favorite Ram headlight. In 2019, you could get the new body style Ram or the 09 to 18 classic style. It works on that too, as long as you have the 09 to 18 body style. If you already know about these headlights or you already have them, I wanna point out the thing that makes it really easy to know the difference between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2. The biggest thing is gonna be brightness. These are way brighter than the originals that came out many years ago. However, aesthetically, the only thing that they changed is right on the inside of each of the projectors. That little triangular opening on the projector bezel used to be smooth. Now it has a more rigid look to it. In the age of the Gen 2 headlight for your Ram, you also have options on DRL colors. As you probably already know, this strip up top is a white DRL. The strip on the bottom is a white DRL. What that means is when you're driving around with the day with your headlights turned off, that functions as a super bright daytime running light, even if your truck didn't come with it from the factory. In the install portion later on, we're gonna show you how to run the DRL wire to the fuse box in an easy T-tap style plug and play install. Then when you turn your headlights on, that DRL function dims to 50% to operate like an OEM style DRL that you find on other high quality premium or luxury automobiles. With the standard white daytime running light, when you turn on the turn signal, this middle strip illuminates amber and you can either have it run in a standard blink on and off or a sequential setting with simply unplugging one of the wire harnesses on the back. It's very easy to swap them back and forth if you want scrolling turn signal or standard. One of the cool options with the Gen 2 is I've got the white version here, but instead of white, you could opt for the amber daytime running light version. What that means is instead of having any white in the DRL, your high brightness DRL, your low brightness DRL, and your turn signal are all amber. If you have any other amber lighting on your truck, this is a game changer. Or if you just like the way the amber looks, it's becoming very popular on a lot of modern vehicles. And I think you'll agree, this would be perfect for some projects out there. Now, if you want that tried and true Morimoto XB quality and performance, but you wanna come in a little under budget, there's also the option for the Morimoto XB hybrid. It uses the same quality components, the same beam pattern and light output, but it's got a few less bells and whistles, which makes them a little bit cheaper. You can go check out that video on the XB hybrids in our other videos. When it comes to performance upgrades, the Gen 2 really knocks it out of the park. The original XB headlight was already brighter than any of the three stock headlight that you could have on your truck, and the Gen 2 gets it even more bright. Not only are both of the projectors dedicated low beam and high beam, that's a function called bi-LED technology, but the LED chips are actually brighter. So these headlights are already an upgrade over your stock headlights, and now they're even better. Aside from using OEM or better quality components on the lens, the wire harness, the adjusters, and the actual housing that it's made out of, these are also designed to be completely plug and play. They are a perfect replica in terms of shape, fit and finish, bracketry, adjusters, and wire harness. The install couldn't be easier. It's literally the same amount of work as swapping out a stock headlight for a stock headlight. On the back side, you can see all the wiring and all the mounts. It may seem like a lot of wiring, but that's just because this thing has the adapters on it for any headlight that your truck might've come with. If you have either of the reflector halogen headlights, the quad that uses H11 and 9005 bulbs, or if you have the dual that uses a single H13 headlight, you're gonna use these wire harnesses right here for your hookup. That's your low beam, your high beam, your side marker, your turn signals, your parking light, your DRL, the whole thing. But if you have the projector style headlight, this connection is what yours is gonna look like. You're not gonna need any of these extra connectors. Your factory headlight wiring 
looks like this side of the connector and the XB LED headlight wiring plugs right into it, which makes it a plug and play install for the projector headlight or either of the halogen headlights. Like I mentioned earlier, if you wanna run the DRL, you're gonna to have to run the DRL wire from the headlight to your fuse box. It just plugs in. In the install portion coming up next, we're gonna show you exactly how to do that. If you have this adapter harness installed, you use this blue wire that will connect directly to the daytime running light wire. However, if you have the projector headlights and you don't have all of this adapter harness, and you just have this stock style multi-pin connector, you have a different blue wire downstream right here. There's two ways you can do this if you have the projector headlights because if your truck has projector headlights, it already has an OEM daytime running light feature. You can plug this in and not run a DRL harness at all. That's totally fine. It's gonna work how it works on the factory. The benefit though of unplugging this on your projector headlight equipped truck is now you can run that same DRL harness from here to your fuse box and you can get the XB style DRL, which gives you DRL functionality more often because the OEM side only runs it when you're in drive. If you're parked at a parking lot or something, the second you put your truck in park and you have the DRL running off the factory wiring, that DRL turns off. If you run the Morimoto DRL wire, it's on the entire time your truck is running. The last thing you need to know on the wiring side is your turn signal selection wiring. This is what allows you to choose whether it's a standard blink or a sequential turn signal. When it's unplugged or plugged in, is gonna dictate which type of turn signal function your truck has. Note, this does not affect the color of anything. This is just if it's standard blink or sequential scrolling turn signal. You cannot change the color of the daytime running lights on this headlight. You either have to buy the white version or buy the amber version. We go a little bit deeper in. Some other things that are important to point out is you have your factory style vertical alignment gear right here. You have your other factory style alignment gear here for horizontal alignment. You have the same fender well connection that your stock headlights have, and you have all the same bracketry that your stock headlights have here, 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 and here. So this thing literally connects to your truck exactly like the original headlights, plugs in exactly the same. The only thing that's different is you have to pick if you're doing a sequential turn signal or a standard turn signal, and you have to run that one wire to the fuse box. Now it's time for the main event, the moment you've been waiting for, the information everybody wants to know, how much brighter are these than stock? Now, generally speaking, this is what your Ram truck headlight looks like, and it's disappointing especially if you're still running the stock halogen bulbs. If you have the original halogen bulbs from 2012, I guarantee your headlights are even less bright than this. Let's take a look at what your headlight should look like. Here's the Morimoto XB Gen 2 LED projector headlights for your Ram. This is what you need to drive safely and for longer distances during the night. Not only do they look cool when on the truck and completely change the way your truck looks and feels to everybody else, but this will change your nighttime driving experience for the better. You're gonna be able to see things coming at you farther down the road. You're gonna be able to see wider on each side of the road to see debris and animals and parked cars. And it's gonna be a better type of light for more driving situations. And also, did you know the number one cause of night driving eye fatigue is dim headlights? These solve that problem. If you've ever gone out on the road at night and you're gonna be driving for several hours, these will help you drive longer before you get tired. This is what the high beam looks like on your stock halogen truck. It's fine, I guess, but it's really nothing to write home about. It's not impressive, and in reality, we can do better. Here's the high beam on the XB Gen 2 for your Ram truck. This is insane, this is so bright. This is gonna do everything that you need even an off-road light bar to do, and it's built into your headlights. Save your money on off-road lighting, just get the headlights and call it a day. Your truck will be cleaner, your headlights will be better and brighter, and you don't have to drill holes in your roof. Mission accomplished. Before you pull the trigger, you're gonna wanna know how to do the install. So let's go over that next. All right, everybody, let's get started with the install. All right, the first step is we have to remove the grill, but before we do that, we have to take off this plastic cover. There's four plastic clips that we have to remove in the front here. Let's get to it. I like to start from the driver's side and work over to the passenger side.
Now that the clip's popped out, we can take off the cover. All right, the next step's removing the grill. We have four 10 millimeter bolts located right here. Now that we have those bolts removed, we can begin by taking off the grill. There are some clips that are in there that are normally a little hard to take off. Ours have been off a few times, so it's a lot easier. But just in case it's a little difficult, get a pry tool, it'll pop right off. Now before you remove the two bolts in front of the headlights, you're going to want to move to the inner fender and pull back this plastic flap here. And there's a locking tab located inside of the upper fender. You push that tab up to unlock the headlight. It's a little tricky to find. Don't get frustrated. It is there. Just give it some time. Now we can move to the front of the truck and remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. With the headlight removed, we can now begin by unplugging the wiring. Now we can run the DRL harness. There's two ends to the harness. Make sure you run the one that has the double wires to the driver's side and the longer one to the passenger side. All right, we're gonna be installing this end of the DRL harness into the number two 10 amp fuse. Now that we have the DRL fuse installed, we can now run the DRL harness. We can tidy up the wiring when we're complete, but for now, let's install the new Morimoto XP headlight. All right, all we have to do is just plug in the stock connectors. And don't forget the DRL harness that we just ran. All right, now we can reinstall the bolts. And don't forget to pull down the locking tab for the headlight in the fender liner. All right, before you bolt the truck back together, make sure you run through all of the functions on the headlight to make sure if everything plugged in correctly. Then go back through and make sure that GRL harness is not hanging anywhere loose. Make sure it's nice and neat, and then you're all done. They're better looking. They're way brighter than what you used to have. They're way brighter than the old headlights. They're gonna help you avoid animals and debris on the road. They might even get you a date if you play your cards right. You gotta put the XB Gen 2 headlights on your Ram. They fit the 09 to 18 and they are a game changer. But remember, if you want amber, you gotta choose the amber version. They don't change colors. You can't push a button and turn the white into amber. So keep that in mind. If you wanna see what else we can do to your Ram, check out our other videos on the channel. Just search Ram and you'll see tons of content. We love Ram trucks. We talk about them all the time. A bunch of people at Headlight Revolution own Rams. We've done every lighting upgrade under the sun, probably to a truck like yours. So you're gonna wanna check it out. Thanks for watching.